to all. Today we will be talking about something that will enrich our knowledge of black history. In this podcast video, we will reveal several important figures that have been unfortunately forgotten in history. Now let's get started. Art is an expression of a human creative skill and imagination when com- combined enhances beauty and emotional power. But what happens if you're forbidden to do this? And what was the history that held people back in expressing themselves in both art and words? You might be surprised to know that we are talking about quilt making. It has an interesting origin in Africa where it was originally men who were the creators. When Africans were taken to the Americas, it was seen as a menial women's work. But then the women turned it to an art form showing the stories of injustice of slavery while also representing beacons of hope. And one of the women who did the best was Lizzie Lizzie Hobbs Kelkley. In the mid-19th century, Keckley was born into slavery on a plantation in Virginia. When she was a teenager, she was sold and moved to St. Louis, Missouri. It was there that she provided food for herself, 17 other people, and her master for over two years. But how? It was all from selling her intricate quilts. By selling her quilts, she saved enough money to free herself and her son from slavery. With her freedom, she moved with her son to Washington, D.C., and became a professional tailor and quilter for the First Lady, Mary Todd Lincoln. While in Washington, D.C., she created the famous Liberty Medallion quilt with the stripes of Mrs. Lincoln's dresses. Liberty shows many characteristics from African-American quilts with the color choices and patterns morphed into one to tell the story of individuality and independence. Within this quilt, there is this bird in the middle of it, and under its wing, it has the word liberty. She she wasn't the only well-known quilter, however. Harriet Powers, known as the mother of African-American quilting, also born into slavery in Clark County, Georgia, There there are not many things known about her early life, but one of her few surviving quotes is known as the Bible quote. Consists of 15 panels and shows biblical stories and events. There are legends that quilts have even been used in the Underground Railroad. They used patterns to communicate and they would hang quilts on clothing lines that would communicate different meanings. Finally, the residents of Jeep Bands, Alabama, are who are direct descendants of enslaved people worked the cotton plantation established by 1816 by Joseph G. After the Civil War, their ancestors decided to remain on the plantation working as sharecroppers. The women of G. Benz at one point had to quilt to support their families. G. Benz quilts made an impact on in history of American art and now are permanent collections of, of, of over 30 leading art museums. Thank you, Emily, for sharing this fascinating history of African-American quilting to our attention. As an artist myself, this topic is very impactful since we see another form and expression in art.